live sooner than expected because Ryan Drago and AJ Stockton, right and left respectively, are tied for 24th place. And we are now rolling off to determine who will advance to the final position in the Eliminator round. We'll have more updates on the scores in just a moment, but what a pleasure to have you here unexpectedly ahead of schedule for live coverage right here at Webster Timber Lanes in Abington, Massachusetts, as you see Drago on his third ball with five pins remaining. Stockton now on the head pin and a big spare, bouncing back. And for a string, he didn't expect to have the bullies off to a fly start. Drago accurate on two of his shots, but unfortunately only comes away with a six. My name is Greg Guiar, and on behalf of everyone here at Candlepin Bowling Network, we'd like to welcome you to our coverage, streaming live and on demand on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please like this video so everyone understands this impromptu broadcast is underway right now. We thank you so much for tuning in either way. Drago's got a good start here. He's got triangle number two. Stockton, spare fill. This ball counts double, basically, to put it one way, and it's six. One string roll off to decide who advances. So the 24th and final position. Drago off target on the triangle. Stockton's got a trickier split. Here he comes. He's just on the seven pin. Let's run down the top eight standings right now. We have Tim Douglas, who is top of the shop, 672. Dave Barber with a 663. Justin Water is 660. Danny Harris, 637, and Sean Baker, 634. Drago picks up two pins. Excuse me. 23 to 15 is the current score right now. And now you see it correct on your screen. John Baker, 634, Corey Packard, 632, Keith Beaupre, 629, and Tim Jalbert, 625. And a big hammer, Stockton, second mark. 10 plus two in the third. For a total of 33 and a strike fill. Drago, 710 is Wood, red line gone. Great shot shooting the wood across in front of the seven pin. And Drago responds in kind. Ryan Drago and AJ Stockton had 563 through the five strings. Just above that Austin Barnes of 564. And that rounds out the 24th and final position. So we are rolling off for 24th place and the right to advance to the three-man random draw portion of the competition. Drago's spare fill is six, 31 through three. Stockton on a strike. Lost a bit right, but good count and a second ball to come. Share the video, make sure this gets around. Drago on the four seven, it's sweeping left to right into the nine and 10, back to back. Stockton let out a yelp, was displeased with that. It will be a six count on that strike. And a nine in the box, good recovery. Brings him up to 48. Let's update the mark situation here. You saw it yourself. Spare for Drago, no mark Stockton. So this match is a virtual tie pending the fill here. Going into the five boxes. Drago deals, head pin, full, five. And we have ourselves a two pin match. Stockton lost it, right? Takes out three. Ryan Drago. Drago's 31, AJ at 32. Drago 31, Stockton 32. Miles per hour on the shot, thanks to Bob Lee on the radar gun. Drago accurate again, no mark. Woods behind the head pin for AJ, hits it, three pin. Resilient, somehow. <laughs> three, six, 10 does go, that's a quality 10 for Drago. 
Stockton also collects the 10, and it remains a two-pin margin. The two will now change lanes to keep things fair and square. One spare and one strike for Stockton, and two spares for Drago. The question of pinning is just one pin difference. Stockton has left four pins standing, Drago five. So that, the fact that Stockton got a strike and not a spare is part of the difference here. Good washout here, seven pin is tipping but not dropping, one, seven, nine. This entire crowded field who has been bowling a five string qualifier now all watching with some interest or antiness waiting to get the action underway, but we have some important business to attend to here. Stockton got the head pin. Oh, yes! Wood was there to send the pin into the nine. Fantastic shot. Third mark. Drago has the 137. Wood looked wired. Matches in kind. Three marks apiece. And everybody hanging on every ball thrown here. Once again, for everyone tuning in late, this is a 24th place sudden death qualifier. Neither bowler expected to bowl the string until just a moment ago. And now on a tightrope back to determine whose day will end early and who will advance into the afternoon. Stockton left the Kaliri right side, that's five. Drago Phillips seven would tie it. He's got eight and takes a one-pin lead. I'll read off the other qualifiers in just a second. Stockton, spare try. Just wide of the head pin, good sticks, no mark. Drago, big chance, 2-4, he's got it! On the outside! A few jeers from the crowd. They didn't expect them to take it on the outside, but a spare is a spare is a spare. It's knocked in 9, 83, 82 through 7. I beg your pardon. So the mark now definitely significant at this stage. Too bad. On the head pin, but the two pin stands as well, and the wood is very vertical for AJ. Drago, spare fill, just piecing the head pin. Again, it topples ever so slightly, like on the shot that delivered him the spare. But a seven count, and it's 91. Three boxes to go, and then we'll pause here, and as soon as it's ready, start the coverage of the next competition, which will be the eliminator round. Top eight teams. Will qualify. It will be comprised of one member of the top eight bowlers, one of the middle three. Oh my! Drago spins the wood and spins to win. That is three marks in a row. Stockton good out, but Drago beginning to run away with this here with just the two boxes to go. So they'll be drawn at loss. One top eight, one middle eight, one bottom eight bowler will make up each of the eight teams. I read out the top eight. We also have Fuller Jr., Jeff Walsh, Matt Nichols, Cody 50, Jimbo Ayotte, Sean Taylor, Craig Holbrook, Ed Woodside, Mark Smith, Nick Cephalato, Josh Daly, Mike Legender, Justin Lyonnais, Corrado Pani, Austin Barnes, and AJ Stockton. And Ryan Drago, you see here, including Stockton with a thunderous second strike. Drago's spare fill is seven. More fell, that's eight. Four pieces of wood calls our executive producer. The strike is there. Double is likely required here. Well, another mark actually would do it. There's the spare, though. Drago, 119 and a ball. Stockton, who has dealt four marks already. Unfortunately, losing out to the six marks currently, but Double strike would change all that. Needs a hammer in the worst way. Lost it right. Seven sticks. Drago needs to fill. That's monstrous. 
The seven pin stands up, but it's 128 through nine. Drago was begging for that wood to roll. We see where this match is going. That'll be nine. 110, and it is now mathematical. Ryan Drago will take the 24th and final spot after a tightrope act between these two. Drago gets his fifth consecutive mark. What clutch performance there. 138 and a ball. Stockton completes a valiant string, 120, coming up short against the buzzsaw. Drago, well, hey, there's the 140. 141 for Ryan Drago, and there you see our 24th place qualifier, Ryan Drago winning the sudden death matchup, 141 to 120. Bob, come down here. You see the standings on your screen. You see the qualifier is going to be five, five bowlers had scores of 573 or higher in the first. That's tough to see, yeah. Not terribly well, I confess. Uh, uh, let me read it this out, I suppose. So we now know Ryan Drago will be the 24th qualifier. So the top eight will be Tim Douglas, Dave Barber, Justin Waters, Danny Harris, Sean Baker, Corey Packard, Keith Beaupre, and Tim Gelbert. Their names will go in one bucket. And then Brian Fuller Jr., Jeff Walsh, Matt Nichols, Cody Fifty, Jimbo Ayot, Sean Taylor, Craig Holbrook, and Ed Woodside will go in the second bucket, being the 9th through 16th finishers. And then Mark Smith, Nick Zuffalato, Josh Daly, Mike Legender, Justin Lyonnais, Corrado Pani, Austin Barnes, and AJ Stockton will go in the bottom basket as the, uh, no, excuse me, Ryan Drago. Ryan Drago, I beg your pardon. Apologies, folks. All right. Why don't we uh, log off until we get the draw now? We'll, yep. We'll flip a camera around for the draw. Sounds good. Uh, we'll, we'll cut the stream here, right, Bob? Yep. All right, folks, we'll be right back. Please like, follow, and subscribe to Candlepin Bowling Network or subscribe to it on YouTube so that you are notified when we go live next. We are standing by for the drawing, and we will be back.